prison. But right now, I'm, today I'm in France. So that's why I tell you Bob is changing. Yeah. So, we need to get a real democracy because the real democratic government will bring the brighter future of our young generation. That's why we keep on pushing and to get our goal. So, this is our aim and this is our objective. And also, the gentleman said, Obama need to review about the Indonesia changes. And I think you already knew about this. And Obama military junta also implemented by the Indonesia constitution. So that's why Obama constitution and Indonesia constitution is uh, very similar. So we want to change as an uh, as an Indonesian model, I think they will be not good enough for this because in Indonesian military, they want eager to change. They are more, more reliable than the Burmese military gender. So it's a little bit different, I think. You know? And this gentleman said about the nugget cyclone. I'm sorry because I'm in prison. I don't know about the nuggets. <laughs> and the, the other thing, it's about the lady. Since established 1995, uh, 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 doctors, yeah, it's very good for us because our country health system is very low. So we need more help from abroad. Whoever come and help about health and education, we, we, we really, really thanks for this. But especially we want to not want, you know, we want to advise you about, don't think about the government to get to know about all the things because they are abused about your help to mobilize the people for the USDP party. In Burma, the situation is happening because some of the NGOs come to Burma and they are help to the people. But USDP party, they grab all the things and they distributed it. So they want to make it, it was help by the USDP party. They use it. So you need to warn. Not gonna happen when you visit to Burma and when you help to Burma. This is my advice. Just US, USDP, yes. nobody knows. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. USDP is the Unity Strength and Development Party, the government party, which is formed as a NGO and now it's a party <laughs> and all of the members are former military. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This uh, these are the facts when I write this about to hear about the people say. Okay, I want to tell you some facts and some things. In Burma, we have no specific rule about the NGOs and CSO. We don't have a, a specific structures about the NGOs and, uh, and about the CSO. And also, we don't have, uh, I don't know what to say, if you want to open an NGO in Burma, you need to be re registered. And it, it, it needs to register annually. So sometimes, they let it go and sometimes they ban it. So opening an NGO in Burma or CSO in Burma, it's really, really hard. You need to, you need to think about it. There's the NGO. And according to this file, some, I, I read about the heading, invest in Myanmar, yes, but for democracy. Okay, I want to tell you some things. 
you need to be aware to invest in Burma because the lady, I mean the Ms. Dong San Suu Kyi, all, already said about it. You want to search, you need to search a new player who run the economy. Because if you want to invest in Burma, in Burma is uh, full of bribery and corruption. All of your investment will be streamed by the cronies. It doesn't reach to the grassroots people. So if you want to invest in Burma, you need to search a new player, a new face, who you're going to contact with. Because the same old player will play about the investment. All of the investment will be gone by then. None of us can reach it. So if you want to invest in Burma, please be aware of this. And this is the one thing. And sorry, I have lots and lots of paper. Right now, I want to, I'm sorry, right now, in Burma, most of the people are very excited and very, very warm to get changes. Because we are left in the military gender nearly 50 years. We don't have a voice till half, half the century. Right now, we have a little voice. So, some of the people from abroad think Obama is really changing. That's not true. Because, in some case, we don't have the regular specific rules. For example, freedom to protect, freedom to demonstrate, freedom to organize, freedom to assembly. It includes the constitution, but we didn't get it yet. So that's why, don't think too much. Burma is changing a lot. And I want to tell you something. For example, we have a censorship board who's, uh, who censor about uh, some of the interviews or some of the articles. The censorship board let go or let pass the ladies, I mean, Dong San Suu Kyi and the views and her articles. But they banned me. Because Dong San Suu Kyi, the lady, her issue is very hot. They can touch it. But regular people like me, they also ban. Like the old day. So we don't have the, the regular right, regular basic right yet. Please be aware of this. Burma is changing, but not too much. If you want to tell someone Burma is changing, please be aware of some of the kind. And if you want to push our government, please tell they must obey their own law. Because the laws are established, but it doesn't get it yet. So that's why we keep on pushing to get our rights, our own rights. Some of the people think we are not, uh, we are very aggressive. No, that's not true. We are opposition, but we are not aggressive and we are not greedy. We want to live in the normal life just like you. We didn't get, what we, we didn't get the basic human rights as you, like you. So that's why we keep on pushing and pushing to get it. So if you have a free time, please be think about it. If you are staying together with the families or, or going somewhere else, uh, to the cinemas or somewhere, at some times, please think about it. In the part of the war, it is in, in, the, uh, in, some, in, in a country named Burma, these peoples are struggling to get a normal life just like you. We are struggling so many years. Please think about it just once. It will be help our movement. Thank you very much.
Merci beaucoup, je pense que c'est effectivement très éclairant pour euh, donc, euh, notre sujet aujourd'hui. Je voudrais, euh, donc, euh, pour mon intervention, donc, avant cela, vous citer un certain nombre de, de déclarations qui ont été faites par euh, Aung San et son équipe depuis, euh, depuis, depuis quelques jours. Euh, parmi les choses que l'on entend beaucoup, il y a le fait que l'administration la, est... Firstly, I want to thank Mr. Yon, because he invited me to, to hear. If he didn't invite me, I'd not be here. So that's why, firstly, I want to thank Mr. Yon and all the rest of us, our... <laughs> okay. All of, all of us who, we, who invited me, because this is very privileged to get here and and to explore how Burma is changing and how the things are. But I want to apologize. Uh, my English is a little bit limited, so I can explain clearly. If you don't understand it, it's, it's, it's all my fault. Okay. And thanks for participation and thanks for the long time supporting the Burma. If the people from abroad forget about us, we can be staying for the long time. It's over two decades, we're struggling to get the democracy. If the people like you didn't support us, we can be here at that moment. So Burma is changing, it's all individual participation from abroad. This include the Burma is moving towards. So thank you all and please participate and please support on us. Continuous. Thank you very much.